What's up, guys? This is Steve. How's everybody doing? Great news. Everybody knows the NVIDIA Shield TV has received the Shield Experience Upgrade 8.0. This upgrade brings Android 9, well, Android 9 Pi to the NVIDIA Shield TV. And it's the 2015 version and the 2017. Remember, they didn't have the 2015 listed, but I told you guys Tuesday, it's definitely going to get it. Or it's going to be chaos. People are going to be mad. But shout out to NVIDIA, man. Because, man, it's like the it, it keeps on upgrading. It keeps on updating. I had this device right here. I'm using my 2015 version right now. It's been um, about four years. Almost five years, guys. And it's still updating. It started at Lollipop. And we're all the way into Android 9. So shout out to them. Before we get started, the best way to support me and the channel is simply by liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, share that video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe and join that notification squad. Alright, let's get it poppy, y'all. So we're going to talk about a few things. I've been testing the upgrade out for a few hours. It actually helped my living room NVIDIA Shield TV. I updated two of them already, a 2017, a 2015. And they updated perfectly. Now I'm updating this last one with you guys. So we're going to talk about what I like so far. And it's really nothing I dislike. It's just Oreo was the problem. Android 8 Oreo was the problem that everybody was having with their Shield TV. You know, that was the first time we all experienced different bugs and stuff like that. And it was just due because of Android 8. And Android 9 corrected a lot of those problems. So, let's go to details before we update what's new. And you don't notice too much of a difference. I'll, I'll talk to you guys about it. So, I'm just going to show it to you guys. What they're saying, what's new. None of these apps are new, but oh well. All right. So this the update will pop up on your Nvidia Shield TV when it's available. If you make a mistake and exit out of it like I just did, just go to your settings tab, go down to about system upgrade, check for upgrade, check for upgrade and press enter on download. If you do not have the Shield Experience Upgrade 8.0, do not panic. It's going to come. You know, it's, it's, it's been known before in the past that we all do not receive our updates at the same time. You know, so give it a day or so if you haven't received it. And you will. You definitely will. I got a lot of people I've seen that they're scared to up, update it. And I don't know what for. <laughs> I don't know why you're scared. Um, I heard of some people saying they had issues. And it's common when you switch in a different Android version that some people might have issues. But I just, man, I ran and updated. You know, I was iffy about updating to Android 8. But to Android 9, I ran and updated because I hated Oreo. I didn't like Oreo. You no. Know? It started, you know, NVIDIA developers worked on it and it started actually getting better. But like I said, my living room NVIDIA Shield TV, it was never, you know, it was good. It worked, but it was some things that I noticed that just wasn't prop working properly. Uh, one being the Wi-Fi, I was having Wi-Fi issues and the speed. This update cleared a lot of that. You know, I'm getting... A definitely major boost in my speed since I updated and it seems to be moving a little bit faster so I'm great for Android for Android 9 but I know you guys who had your Nvidia Shield since 2015 man you guys are just that that comes with the ticket people say about the uh, the 199 that you have to spend for it but we had it for four years. We started at Android Lollipop. That's Android 5. 
with an Android 9. This is the longest I ever seen a device keep on upping, updating to Android, uh, well, to two different Android firmwares. I never seen on usually a company. If you got one, if you got one different bump up to Android version, you did well in different companies. Because usually, you know, back in the in, in the day, they'll make a device. Then when a different Android version comes out, they'll make another device, give it a little bit better specs, and update that one. But pretty much don't do anything to the one you had before so you're kind of like forced to buy the newer device if you want that android version so nvidia didn't put us through that so shout out to them all right remember two guys to do all my videos in real time if you're new to watching me and i just wanted to update this one right in front of you guys let me know how this volume sounds for the video because you guys know I'm using I used to use my computer to record my videos lately I've been using OBS just to try new things out and um, the last video I did with OBS it was a good video but the volume sounded a little bit up down so I bumped the volume up This is the longest part right here. I did have adopted storage for this shield. When I'm up uh, doing a shield experience upgrade, I don't remove my adopted storage. My well, my external hard drive. I still leave it plugged in. Uh, I hear a lot of people talk about they unplug theirs or tell people to unplug theirs. I have never did it. You know, I, I always leave my hard drive plugged right in and do the update and it's fine. So. I want to screenshot this part right here. But while I was up, while I was doing this, I guess I'll talk. Like I said, I seen a change in my Wi-Fi speed in the living room. I seen a, a change in the hardwire speed as well in the living room. So I'm just thankful for that. I'm thankful to be away from Android 8. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I hate Android 8. And a lot of the problems I was having on one of my shields is it's a normal problem that a lot of Android 8 devices do have so I knew they had to push Android 9 that's why they kinda rushed Android 9 period Android did you know to kinda f patch up you know fix a lot of stuff problems that Android 8 had Now, hoping I get it on my phone as well. I have an old, uh, I have an older phone. I have, well, it's not old, old. I have a Galaxy Note 8. And I'm hoping that gets 9, Android 9. But either way, I think I might be getting that Note 10, maybe. Depends when it hits. I hope this speeds up a little bit. I don't know what just happened. It restarted.
hopefully it's not like before before like when they pushed the Android 8 update they had two devices working solid one of them just was crazy well actually I had a factory set two of them I'm not gonna lie I had a factory set two of them when they pushed that Android 8 so I think it's taking the update right now definitely seems to be moving slower than my other one as far as the update speed or maybe I just wasn't paying attention that's something too I noticed you see that US drive connected it's connecting a whole lot faster I've been noticing that issue since Android 8 Oreo as well when I was on Android 7 with the shield my hard, my external hard drive would connect quick on 8 it would just kind of it'll connect but you could definitely feel it was connecting slower so I already showed you guys this Let me screenshot too. All right. When enabled, Shield TV automatically downloads and upgrades to the latest software. Nope. Okay. There we go. We're on Android 9. Like I said, the look is pretty much similar to the same thing. Okay, what I noticed so far, as far as some differences in the settings. So, you got device pre uh, prefaces remote accessories, apps, and accounts, and sign-in. If you have any accounts, because I know I have my Dropbox, you know, I side-loaded Dropbox to my other NVIDIA Shield TV, and it even shows that it shows anything that you're signed into on this accounts and sign-in. So that's pretty dope. Um, apps. And this also, Android 9 fixed the... Um, some of the permissions too that Android 8 started messing up with, like some of our apps. Remember the uh, floating apps app? Now you can draw over apps again, so you can use some of those apps that became incompatible with Android 8. You know, with the Android 8 look app permissions. Show you additional permissions, special app access. So display over other apps. I don't have none that can do it, but yeah, if it's an app that uh, did that, you can use it now. Um, recently opened apps. You can see all your apps. Show system apps. So it just seems a whole lot cleaner. I like it. Remote and accessories. You still got your shield accessories. Looks nice though. Look at it. It's kind of giving you a preview. I think of how the new game pad and controller is going to look. So they kind of snuck that one in. Let me screen, screenshot this as well. They snuck this in. So I'm thinking this is the new look, the design of the newer uh, remote and controller. All right. Add Bluetooth accessories, same way. 
So shield accessories just changed right there, the look. Device prefaces. I'm not sure what this reset is. Maybe I'll test it for you guys on one of my shields I'm not using as much. Maybe I'll test it on this one. Yeah, yeah, I'll test it. Let me go see what I got all on here and I'll test it. Because I don't know if it's factory reset or not. Security and restrictions. I was hoping that they bring back that you just got allowed one time, but. It's still, you got to do it each one. System. You know, this is where you can uh, do the NVIDIA share, where you can allow that at on it. This is some new stuff over here. USB port power. Storage. Transfer files over local network. Okay, let's go back to system. Customize quick settings. You can uh, enable the Bluetooth. So you can disconnect all Bluetooth accessories. You can add that option to the quick settings now. Restart Wi-Fi, I think that's new as well. check for upgrade I don't know if that was new or not so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool man displaying sound advanced sound heard somebody talk about the surround sound and stuff like that You know, go definitely check this out if you was having problems about. Version 9. So, it's nice. One thing I did notice as well is the uh, previews. Uh, Android 9 has pre uh, previews, but I, don't, I haven't seen what you can use that on yet. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to test it for a few more days and, let, and um, let you guys know what I come up with. But so far, so good, man. I'm liking this update. I'm glad they made it. So definitely shout out to them. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the update so far. As you guys are, you guys enjoying it? Are you guys having problems? Let this be the troubleshoot video. If you're having problems, comment and let me know the problem that you're having. And if I can't help you, maybe somebody else who's watching the video can help you, or you know, I can email and find out what's going on. So definitely troubleshoot right here in this video and let me know what's going on if you have. <laughs> problems so far so good for me i'm loving it i'm gonna test it for a couple days though you know a few hours doesn't really tell the tale you know so we're gonna uh test it for a couple days and see how it goes but definitely comment share this video like this video for me if you enjoyed it and um subscribe to this channel if you're new and tune in next time so i can show you how to make the box yours thanks for watching guys